Tropicana Club, a fixture of 1950s Havana. Its revival still a draw for visitors in the 90s. Since the former Soviet Union cut its economic ties, tourism has been Cuba's one success story, and foreign investment has been the key. Since 1990, a number of foreign companies have signed joint agreements with the Cuban government. Those companies can take advantage of the island's natural allure as a visitor's destination, while supplying much-needed managerial know-how and running the island's resort hotels. Most of the joint ventures have been with hotel management companies from Spain. One example is the Habana Libre Hotel, once the Havana Hilton. For more than 30 years, the hotel, which towers over much of downtown, was owned and managed by the government. A Spanish hotel chain now runs it for them. What they needed was from a, from a zero uh, experience point in tourism. They needed help from other countries like Spain, which has been working in tourism for more than 50 years, to help them and to teach them how to do it. Tourism has been music to the government's ears. Two years ago, less than half a million tourists visited Cuba to spend time walking the streets of places like Old Havana and its rows of souvenir stands. The number increased by 24% last year, and the government expects another 40% increase in 1994. Most visitors are Canadian, the rest from Spain, Germany, Italy, and Latin America. Government officials say foreign investment is responsible for the growth they're seeing, both in new hotel construction and in the numbers of tourists. A part of the new hotel construction directly corresponds to foreign investment. Without the growth in hotels, it would have been impossible that the number of people visiting the country would have grown so much. So yes, I'd say that the growth in tourism has been directly related to the growth in foreign investment. A joint venture with another Spanish firm is helping to finish the on-again, off-again construction of this hotel on Havana's Malecon waterfront. And nowhere is the effect of joint ventures more apparent than at Veradero Beach, two hours east of Havana. It's seen a flurry of new hotel building in recent years. Grupo Sol, a Spanish hotel chain, has poured an estimated $78 million into three resorts here. The newest opened in July. We have hotels in Venezuela. We have hotels in Venezuela, Mexico, and Santo Domingo. We did not have one in Cuba. Also, Cuba has all the resources that in the future will make it the top spot for tourism in the entire Caribbean. Various ventures have been suggested for Cuba's tourism industry, from bringing back cruise lines to reintroducing gambling after it's been banished for more than 30 years. But whatever new directions Cuba's tourism industry takes, the government will be seeking out private partners to make it happen. Jeff Yastin, NBR, Veradero Beach, Cuba.